Hi guys, welcome back to a new Git tutorial. The previous tutorial has shown you how to see the differences between the staging area and the working directory. And today I'll show you how to compare the working directory to the repository. So if you remember from previous videos, when we say that we want to compare our working directory to the repository, we mean to say that we want to compare our working tree to the last commit. Right, so let's run a git status and see what it shows. And as you can see, it shows the new file that text is modified. And now, if we run a, a git diff head, head is just a pointer reference, and you can use that as a parameter to compare uh, the working tree to the last commit, or in other words, to compare your working directory. To the repository. The repository points to the last commit, but it also holds copies of previous uh, snapshots of, of your files. Right, so let's now press enter, and as you can see here, we have the same printout as in the previous tutorial, and this compares what's in your current working directory to what's in the last commit. Right, let me show you a nicer way to view these differences. Um, now, if you have a visual diff tool command configured, um, or if you haven't that already, just follow the following pa pattern. So let's configure it using git config dash dash global uh, diff tool. And now just write the name of your uh, diff tool in this case. In my case, uh, vimdiff. Right, so in case you're wondering what vimdiff is, uh, this is just a tool that uh, comes together with the vim text editor and is used mainly by programmers to compare code or uh, to merge different changes. Um, in case you have a different tool or would like to see a greater variety of these, um, just run a check on visual diff tools for a much greater variety on Google. Uh, right, so virtually uh, this command sets a global configuration for diff tool to vimdiff. So every time we run the diff tool, it will open vimdiff for that purpose. Right, so let's press enter. And now, if you want to see your configuration, just run a cat tilde and hit config. So basically, this command will display the content of your git config file located in your home directory. Let's press enter. And as you can see, there it is. Right, now let's clear, clear the screen. And now let's try the command. <clears throat> Type in git diff tool. Right, so once you press enter, click yes. So once you press enter and yes, uh, git opens the visual diff tool for us and now you could easily see the revision we have made in the working directory. Our file in the right, this one here, uh, is our file from the working directory and the file in the left is the file that's current in the last commit. As you can see, the working directory um, displays only the first line that we introduced to the file in the last tutorial. Right, so please remember that diff tool is just a, a front-end to git diff and virtually it accepts the same arguments or options. Let's exit from here. So you do that via colon and q from quit and you have to do it twice. Right, so that's quite easy to grasp. So again, the commands are git diff head and git diff tool to see your changes visually. Uh, that's it for today. The next video will show you the differences between the staging area and the repository and how to view them. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.